Hey guys, Anders here with another Black Desert video. Today we're going to go over a brand new set of accessories that are coming into the game this week after maintenance. These cloud accessories are targeted towards newer players but can be obtained by everyone. After maintenance, you will be given the option to choose one tri cloud accessory a ring, earring, necklace, or belt. Once chosen, you can do daily challenges to obtain cloud enhancement material that will enhance your accessory from tri to tet and from tet to pen with 100% guarantee. These items at pen are equivalent in stats to pen kaposha accessories in the same slot. They can be used by both season and regular characters, meaning season characters have gained a new method of increasing their stats than before. Normally, a season player who has full pentavala has done all of their account stat quests. They're going to have a maximum of 250 main weapon, 252 awakening weapon AP, and 314 DP if you're using a Perilla Star Alchemy Stone. That's also including the plus one AP and DP from the event we have right now. With these new cloud accessories, we now have the ability to reach new brackets, giving you a hefty damage increase for those wishing to stay on season channels. This also means you gain an additional Pen Kaposha equivalent accessory for practically free if you were someone who had chosen the Kaposha ring reward and wanted a Pen Kaposha earring as well. The best options for newer players are just going to be to choose a Tri-Cloud necklace and then a Pen Kaposha belt for the season graduation reward if it's gonna be your first season if you already have a Pen Kaposha necklace because you've been playing a bit longer, choosing a Tri-Cloud Earring is also a good option. On top of these brand new accessories, we'll be getting a new login reward calendar for those in guilds. They give you some pretty good items, so if you're not in a guild, make sure to join one to get these rewards at least. Guilds will also be receiving a bonus of Influx of Silver depending on what their size was as of December 17. The Cloud accessories will be coming, like I said, this maintenance, but soon after that, so not this week, maybe next week, we're going to get a brand new Crystal Preset UI. This will effectively remove Crystal slots from gear, meaning you're no longer going to be placing Jin Viper Crystals into your gloves. Instead, you'll place them into a grid UI system that is being developed. Crystals are no longer limited by gear slot and instead have a locked quantity as to how many you can put per crystal preset. These new presets will be active for not just your main character, but all of your characters in your roster. So this is going to be a family-wide crystal preset system that is being developed. Sounds like a really good idea, but there are some questions we have yet to have answered, like specifically, what happens if you're using a crystal preset UI uh, and you die a PvE death? Normally you lose some crystals at random. Alts for world bosses tend to die a lot. So if they're using your main PV crystal preset, it would not be fun if your crystals were broken due to an alt dying. But we should learn more about the specifics of this system this week on test server but expect this new crystal preset UI to go live on PC within a couple of weeks. Now, aside from these, we have some minor changes we saw from Calcium Ball getting implemented into the game finally. So mount calling distance, that's been increased. Sailing XP can now be obtained in shallow waters. So around Balano Sea, other such areas, the XP rate is 25% that of normal rates at Morgoria XP. There are new group levels of Rift Echoes, making them more worthwhile to run in parties. They have also added new NPCs for a fishing token exchange, but they went ahead and added more NPCs for life skill tokens in every major city. So now you can exchange all of your life skill tokens wherever you call home in game. You will now auto path to the nearest Wacky Toshi NPC by right clicking on your Marty Stone. You will no longer cheer for sharps and hards through gathering. Blue well hunting and calc hunting have both been buffed. The biggest change is the ability to acquire items in a platoon instead of a party, so up to 20 people per group, if they do enough damage, will be getting rewards. The durability of your life tools is now an indicator so you can see when you're close to needing a repair. They've also added the option to turn off low health red UI effects. So those are all the changes that are coming. Most are gonna be this week, some maybe next week. So let me know what you think, especially the crystal UI. How do you guys like the design? And as always, thanks again for watching. Thanks for listening. I'll see you all in the next one. Take care.